All right, guys and girls, welcome to chapter one of the semester practical English conversation one. Um, first part, guys, hopefully you came to the first class and you did the orientation and you know what you need to bring to class. You need to bring this book, right? You need to bring... Um, you know, obviously your pens and pencils, things like that. But it's very important, guys, that you complete the work that I give you online. Make sure you complete it first before you come to the Zoom class, okay? So make sure you do all the book work. And then when you come to the Zoom class, we're just going to be doing speaking, all right? Speaking practice, speaking partners, groups, things like that, okay? Um, if you don't do the book work, then you cannot participate in the class very well, okay? So it's very important that you remember to do all of the book work first, okay? All right, so here we are, chapter one, who are you? Guys, you know, we did this um, little icebreaker uh, in the class nice and easy thing, right? But there's lots of questions here that are much more difficult than who are you questions, right? So if you were able to do this page, if you were able to ask these questions, if you're able to answer and ask extra questions, then this should be super easy for you, okay? Um, all right, so like I told you guys, when we do the book, you will always see the same thing for every chapter, okay? Vocabulary first, then there are 15 questions, so 15 questions here, and then we do the grammar focus, right? Mumbab, right? Which uh, people usually, oh, I hate the Mumbab. Guys, it's easy, all right? This stuff is super easy. Maybe everybody knows this. If you don't know it, then this is a good chance to remind yourself of some of these simple grammar points, okay? So, I'm not doing this part in this in this uh, online class, all right? So you need to do this for your subject. This is your homework, okay? Um, do this and then we will check this in the Zoom class, okay? So, what you need to do, guys, and I recommend this, you buy the book, right? And you check, one by one, you check all of these words, all right? So, I don't think you can memorize the words, but the good idea is for you to write down what these words are in Korean so that you can, maybe, you can remember them, okay? Some of them, like apartment, apartu, right? You, you will know this very very easily, right? But there might be some other jobs, other jobs, other words like dream job or curfew, um, exchange student, uh, and then these things, sophomore, junior. You might not know what these are, so please write down for yourself, write down if you don't know the Korean word for it, all right? If you don't understand what the word means, write down. If you don't know the English word, write down the Korean. Okay. All right. So what is the topic? The topic you can see here is university words, right? University words. So we've got things like, you know, you go to university. What are you studying? What is your dream job? And then we also have some general questions, hometown, nationality. Then we talk about things like roommate, um, senior job, exchange student. These are university words okay so please do this guys put these words into the blank spaces down here whatever words match there are 15 words there are 15 questions so please do that guys before you come to the zoom class all right and it should be super easy all right so try to do that i'm gonna skip this page now and focus on the grammar Okay, so, like I said, guys, you guys know what 
Pidonza is, right? You know what your B verb is. Um, this is just a really easy practice today, okay? We are talking about simple present, not quagohem, all right? We're not talking about past tense. We're talking about simple present, okay? So, are you happy, right? Maybe you're not happy because you're doing online classes again. It's very sad, right? Um, I am a teacher. You are a student. These are all using present, simple present B verb um, sentences, okay? And these are all nice and easy, guys. Now, you will see here, Gunjong, Bujong, yes, no, WH. This is what I say every class positive, negative, yes, no, WH questions, okay? I think maybe every chapter we have the same thing, okay? Positive, negative, yes, no, WH. And these are just, again, simple sentences to make for different situations, right? I want to be positive, I am a boy, right? I want to be negative, I'm not a boy. I want to ask a question, are you a boy, All right? Or I want to ask a WH question, um, about a boy, what WH question can I ask? Um, I, I think nothing about being a boy. I could say, what is it like? Being a boy. No, let's not do that. It's too difficult. Um, what is a boy? <laughs> All right. That is a WH question. All right. Um, so you can make any sentence you want, guys. This is very easy. All right. So let's take a look. Positive again. We have our chua, our subject. Then we have our bidonga. Now, the only main, most important thing you need to remember, guys, is matching your subject and your be verb okay so if it's he is she is we are they are you are it is okay name storm is all right so make sure that you're using the right subject and um be verb match okay so here is i am right so i am a boy very simple okay uh we come down here Negative, how do we make a negative sentence, guys? We just add not, right? So subject, we have our bidons are, be verb, and then not, all right? So like I said, we could say, I am a boy. We could say, I am not a boy, and it's made it negative, right? You know this, I'm sure you know this, okay? So he is not hungry, or he isn't hungry, all right? Very simple sentence there. Um, if we talk about our classes, let's make a nice simple sentence here. Someone says, oh, is is the uh, English class face-to-face? -face? And you go, no. All right, no. Uh, our English class is not face-to-face. -face. Okay, so this is our negative sentence, okay? Our English class is not face-to-face. -face. If we want to make a positive sentence, our, in our English class is online. Okay. So we have Zoom class and online YouTube video. All right. So negative statements, very simple. Uh, yes, no questions. Okay. So let's use the same thing. All right. So we've got our English class is online. That's positive. Okay, now let's use, let's make sure my keyboard is working. All right, it's not working. Mm -hmm. Let's use uh, negative here. Okay, our English, our English class is not online. We can use that. All right, or well, let's make it, let's tell the truth, all right, is not face to face. Okay, all right, cool. So we have our negative sentence, we have our positive sentence. Okay, now, what about our yes, no question? So I already said it. Maybe you can write it yourself. 
write it in your book now. I'll give you five seconds. Quickly, write down what is the sentence. Same thing, right? English class online. English class is not face-to-face. -face. What question can you write about the English class using Yi Dongza? Try and write something down. Okay, I'm going to write something. Maybe your sentence is similar. Okay, so what do we start with? We start with our be verb. Okay, so is subject. So what, what's the difference here, guys? The difference is we just swap. We switch this around, right? So very simple. Now we have our be verb first. Okay, so what could our question be? Our question could be, is our English class online? Okay. Or is our English class face to face? Nice, easy question. All right. And now, um, WH question. Now, remember, guys, use your book to help you when you need to think about WH questions. All right. So if I go up here, I just try and keep. You know what? Let's uh, let's clean my screen. All right. If I go up here, you'll see all of this, right? When, why, who, where, how, what, what kind of, what, what do, what can, what you know. There's lots of lots of questions we can ask, right? How, how many, how much, how long, how old, how, how. Cold, how far? How about? All right, lots of options here, guys. Okay, so if you can't think of something, go, oh, what well, WH question? Then just check this page, page three in your book. All right, so if we come back down here, let's complete our sentences again. All right, so let's use, so you try again. I'll give you five seconds, 10 seconds, write down a WH question using the same topic, English class, online, face-to-face. -face. Try and write down a WH question. All right, so let me write this. Um, why is our now remember if you look here our wh question is here right but everything else is the same as writing a yes no question right so we've got right so this is all the same you just add your wh question at the beginning of the sentence, all right? So it could be what, why, when, who, where, how, any of those you can put at the beginning, all right? So my sentence here is, why is our English class online? Why is our English class online? Because of COVID. Because we want to be safe. Because there are more COVID cases these days, all right? So, lots of reasons um we could write another one we could write um do, 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 do. um when is our english class all right when is our english class online all right and again our english class is online on tuesday and thursday or friday and monday or whatever it is okay at this time okay so we've got nice, simple sentences, simple questions, simple, positive, negative, WH, yes, no, very, very easy stuff, guys, right? So if you think, oh, teacher, I cannot do this, it's difficult, just use the guide, okay? This is your guide, all right? So if you can think of a chua, I, he, she, we, they, you, it, anything, think of a bidongza, match it. And then just experiment, all right? Have some fun. Write down any sentence you want to write down, okay? So there are a couple things here to remember. Sometimes I'll skip this stuff, guys, but 
Just quickly, nice to see you, nice to meet you are different. Now, you probably think, yes, teacher, they're different because they're different words. See you and meet you is different, right? Okay, so which one, I'll give you a quick quiz. Which one do I say when I first meet somebody? That's a big hint. I say, nice to meet you, okay? Meet, all right? It's the first time I meet you. I will say nice to meet you. But if I see you tomorrow again, I don't say nice to meet you again, okay? Now, there are many times that sometimes my students say, teacher, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. I say, well, I met you already, all right? You don't need to say nice to meet you. So the second time, you can say, nice to see you, okay? So first time, nice to meet you. Second time, third time, fourth time. Next time, nice to see you, okay? Nice and easy thing. Um, couple things here, guys. English speakers don't discuss age, blood type, relationships, or money when first meeting someone, okay? Again, in Korea, probably very similar. Okay, um, you don't talk about your relationships, maybe you don't talk about, you know, are you married? Maybe you don't ask somebody this question the first time you meet them. How much money do you make? You don't, met, you don't ask those questions, right? Um, age, how old are you? Again, sensitive questions, maybe you don't talk about those when you first meet somebody, uh, even blood type, okay? Uh, number three, the answers to where are you from, where do you live, should not be the country you are in, okay? So, let's have a quick look. Where are you from? All right, and here, where do you live? Okay, different questions, guys. So, where are you from? If you ask me, Storm Teacher, where are you from? I will say, I am from England, okay, I'm from England. Um, you can ask me the city, you go, oh no, what city? Okay, I'm from London. What town? Oh, I'm from this, okay? You can ask me that, but where do you live? I live in, well, I live in Busan, okay? So, remember, where are you from is your original place where you're from, your hometown. Where, you, where do you live right now? Where do you live, okay, right now? Maybe you moved house because you are studying, so you live in Busan now, but you're from Seoul, Daegu, Jeju, Incheon, I don't know, random places, okay? Easy peasy. All right, guys, so, a couple things to remember there. All right, so that's mainly what we do in this class, guys. We'll just do a quick grammar focus, all right? And then next class, in the Zoom class, we check the vocabulary super quickly. So five minutes, we're just gonna jump through here, check the vocabulary. I will ask you, okay? I will say, all right, Minju, tell me what's number eight? And then Minju, you need to read the question, all right? And I ask, oh, Chongwon, what's number 10, all right? So make sure you're ready to answer these questions when we do the Zoom class, okay? Um, and down here, guys, this is your little subje you need to do, all right? So remember to do this. Every class, you need to do this quick practice, all right? So this is homework, all right? Remember to do this. So what do you need to do? You need to very simply write down two sentences, two, two, and two more down here. Okay, so there's four, well, not four, sorry, eight sentences that you need to write down. Okay, and just like here, I wrote down some quite some sentences, right? When, uh, when is our online class? Is our, uh, is our class online? Um, why is our class online? You make some sentences, 
Okay, don't use the same ones. Just think about anything, all right? Good option, guys, is to go up here and choose eight words, all right? So eight different sentences, eight words from this list, okay? So make sure you know the words and then you can, uh, you know, dormitory, dormitory, kisosa, right? So kisosa, dormitory, all right, I can choose that. Uh, freshman, shinipseng, right? That's my first year student. All right, so I can choose some words and I come down here and then I just write a couple sentences, all right? So maybe I have dormitory, um, let's say, um, is your dormitory comfortable? All right. This question is a yes, no question, right? So it should go here. Is your dormitory comfortable? So comfortable, right? Yes, it's comfortable. No, it's not com comfortable. All right. Um, what, what was my other word? Freshman. All right. Simple. Are you a freshman? Oops. All right. Are you a freshman? Easy, easy, easy. Or we can make it a bit more interesting, right? So, um, is your brother a freshman? Something like that. Okay. Um, all right. So just choose eight words. All right. Eight words and write down eight sentences. Okay, so everybody in the class should have two, 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 and two sentences here. All right, so next class, two things I'm going to check. I'm going to check this. I'll ask you guys, give me a sentence, give me a sentence, give me a sentence. We'll write down some sentences, and I will check the vocabulary up here. Okay, guys, so this should take you maybe 10, maybe 15 minutes and you can finish this. Maybe 20 if you take a break. All right, so finish this 10 minutes, write down some sentences, 10 minutes, and then you're done, okay? And I will see you next class, and we will do some conversation and more kind of introduction, questions, answers, conversations in the class time with your chingus that you have not met yet because you are online. I'm so sorry. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please email me. Um, I hope you enjoy this class. This is the beginning, chapter one. We have lots and lots of time now to do many chapters. So fighting. I will see you next class. Bye-bye.